Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. I was just looking at my useless Smash Bros. Amiibo collection when I thought that something looked off about my Rob Amiibo, but then I realized I was looking at the Olimar Amiibo the whole time, almost as if the Olimar Amiibo was in disguise as Rob or something. Imitation Crabs is the episode where Plankton creates a Mr. Krabs robot to trick Spongebob into discussing the Krabby Patty secret formula with him. Like Dying for Pie, this episode aired on December 28, 2000 and is the last episode to air in the year 2000. This is also Plankton's first appearance in Season 2. Fun fact, this episode is also the first time where the Krabby Patty formula is shown as a piece of paper in a bottle and the first time Plankton tries to steal the formula in the bottle itself. Before this, Plankton was only shown trying to steal an actual Krabby Patty, and from this point on, Plankton alternates between trying to figure out the Krabby Patty formula by either trying to steal an actual Krabby Patty or the formula in written form in its bottle. I've always really liked this episode, and it seems that there's a lot of fans who like this episode as well. And it feels like Nickelodeon somehow knew that, because years and seasons later, this episode's story would later be reused four whole times. That number might not sound like a huge deal considering how many episodes of this show there are, but three of those times the episode plot was reused were in the exact same season. And if you've seen any of those episodes, you know exactly what I mean. But we're not here to discuss that. For now. So let's watch this episode and relive that Mr. Krabs robot. So the episode starts up and the French narrator is talking about the Krusty Krab and the Krabby Patty secret formula. Plankton's newest plan is a robotic salesman to trick Spongebob. Plankton comes into the Krusty Krab and tells Spongebob he's won a million dollars. But just how did he win a million dollars? Plankton asks Spongebob what the Krabby Patty secret formula is, and Spongebob says the Krabby Patty formula is the sole property of the Krusty Krab and is only to be discussed with Mr. Krabs, who created it. Plankton burst out of his disguise and got caught by Mr. Krabs, who then shot him through a straw back to the chum bucket. Mr. Krabs told Spongebob to be more careful in the future about the secret formula, and Spongebob promises to be more vigilant. Later, another customer questions what could be in the formula, and Spongebob immediately assumes it's Plankton in another disguise and rips off its head, but it was a regular customer. Everyone at the Head Enhancement Clinic said nobody would notice! That's what the doctor said when I was in the hospital after I hit my head. Mr. Krabs said there was no need to rip people's heads off, as long as Spongebob only discusses the secret formula with Mr. Krabs, then it wouldn't be necessary to worry. Squidward makes a snarky comment, and then Mr. Krabs told Squidward to take inventory in the storage room. Then, a row on Mr. Krabs showed up, which was Plankton's newest Grand Theft Formula plan. Squidward could tell this wasn't the real Mr. Krabs, but didn't care when the robot gave Squidward the rest of the day off. See, now that's really not the real Mr. Krabs. The real Mr. Krabs would never go, ha, 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 when talking to Squidward about a day off. Spongebob came in and saw the robot Krabs, but the real Mr. Krabs was coming back to the storage room. Robot Krabs distracted Spongebob and turned it into a toaster. Mr. Krabs came in and finds out that Squidward was given the day off. He then freaks out and then has Spongebob take out some trash. Robot Krabs returns and tries to talk to Spongebob again, but hides again when the real Mr. Krabs comes in. Spongebob starts to feel confused about everything the two different Krabses were talking to him about. Plankton then comes up with a plan to get rid of Mr. Krabs by distracting him with an ordinary penny. He tosses the penny and it rolls through Mr. Krabs' office, leading him far away from the Krusty Krab. Because every ordinary penny can roll for miles after being tossed once. Robot Krabs found Spongebob scrubbing floors in the kitchen, all alone. Robot Krabs wanted to talk to Spongebob about the secret formula, but before he does, Spongebob reminds him about their secret handshake where they stand on one foot, balance a glass of chocolate milk on their heads, and sing the Bikini Bottom National Anthem. Ah uh, yes, what every secret handshake needs. Oh, I'm out of chocolate milk. Six and a half hours later. They followed that with a ritual for six and a half more hours with much more ridiculous speeds tiring Plankton out. And even after all these, Spongebob still wouldn't talk about the formula. Plankton was pissed off, but Spongebob explained that Mr. Krabs' rule was to never speak about the secret formula and showed the bottle it's kept in. As Robot Krabs reached for the bottle, the penny came back into the Krusty Krab kitchen, followed by the real Mr. Krabs. Damn, some ordinary penny that is. 
Robot Krabs and Mr. Krabs started to get into an argument trying to convince who the real Mr. Krabs is. SpongeBob broke up the fight with tartar sauce and decided to settle this by asking three questions only the real Mr. Krabs could answer. The first two questions were when the Krusty Krab opens and how much a Krabby Patty costs on Wednesdays, both of which Robot Krabs answers correctly. The final question was so complicated that even the real Mr. Krabs couldn't answer it, so Spongebob thought he was the phony and squirted him, sending him away on a fry basket. Actually, neither of them answered that question, so Spongebob was wrong. Neither of them are the real Mr. Krabs. Spongebob gave Robot Krabs the secret formula, and Plankton was happy. Spongebob also gave him the penny Mr. Krabs was chasing, which activated a self-destruct. Robot Krabs ran back to the chum bucket right before he exploded. The bottle rolled back to Spongebob and he realized he made a horrible mistake. He then remembered Mr. Krabs who was trying to not get eaten by Hans. Spongebob saved him and apologized for thinking he's an imposter. Mr. Krabs was okay with it since the formula was safe. He then says the penny will come out of Spongebob's paycheck, they laugh, and the episode ends. Wow, a penny being taken out of a paycheck, how cheap he is. So that was Imitation Krabs and I think that this is a great episode. This was an episode I always loved watching as a child, and I was hoping it would be on TV a lot more often than it was. But I think this in particular was also during a time when my brother scratched up my old Season 2 DVD. I always loved Spongebob's rapid voice when he was saying what the Krabby Patty formula is, and when Robot Krabs always hid whenever Mr. Krabs came into the storage room. There are a lot of robot related jokes I think are awesome. Such as the running gag when the robot engine backfires, the microphone that comes out of Robot Krabs' chest, and Plankton's monotone robot voice, especially during moments like when Mr. Krabs comes into the kitchen, when Robot Krabs gets crushed by the Krusty Krab sign, and his maniacal laughter. I also like every scene with Squidward in this episode. It's awesome when he goes home and laughs without hesitation, despite just questioning Robot Krabs, and even his various moves towards Mr. Krabs, including happy, monotone, and confused. Another joke I've always loved was Spongebob saying he won't let Mr. Krabs down, and then Mr. Krabs asked Spongebob to let him down. I've heard some people say that Spongebob seems a little too stupid in this episode, at least for season 2 standards, and I can kinda see why they would say that, but I don't agree with those sentiments. Obviously, Spongebob trusts Mr. Krabs, but I see this as him just being naive. In the storage room, it goes back and forth between Robot Krabs and Mr. Krabs so quickly, and Spongebob is never really given enough time to think about the differences between the two, so it's definitely understandable why he thought the robot could be the actual Mr. Krabs to an extent, especially since Robot Krabs answered more questions correctly and quickly than Mr. Krabs did during the quiz show. Being naive is an important part of Spongebob's character, and I think it was done very well in this episode. If Spongebob wasn't naive at all, he'd be able to see through every single plan Plankton does, and none of the Plankton's plan stories would work at all. It definitely could have been worse, but Spongebob's naiveness was never insufferable in this episode in my opinion. I also think it's cool seeing Hans at the end. It's a brief gag, but I always liked it. My favorite joke by far was Spongebob ripping off the customer's head and the guy got sad about it. I also like the back and forth, Plankton! Crabs! at the beginning of the episode, and the gag of Spongebob balancing his spatula on his nose. Any character that can balance a spatula on their nose is A-OK -okay in my book. Of course, all the scenes with Spongebob and Plankton throughout the episode are awesome, and so is Mr. Krabs chasing after the penny. With all that being said, I would go over things I questioned about this episode, but I honestly don't have much to say about that side of the coin. I could get extra nitpicky and question how Plankton knew that stuff about the Krusty Krab, but it does make sense that he would know those things since the Chum Bucket is right across the street from the Krusty Krab and he's always at the Krusty Krab trying to steal the secret formula, so that's a no argument. To be completely honest, the worst thing I could say about this episode was what I already said about Spongebob being naive. And even that's a nitpick because his character is supposed to be naive and this episode works very well as it is. And if Spongebob wasn't naive, these scenes wouldn't be funny at all. Overall, I really like this episode. There's a lot to love here. So many great jokes and character moments. The story here is awesome and plays out very well. And as we all know, Nickelodeon thought so too, as evident by the four future episodes that copy this plot. Despite that, that still means this episode could have been bad. But it's not. It's awesome. Imitation Crabs is a great episode. 
There are so many amazing scenes and jokes throughout the episode. The story plays out very well, and all the characters are so strong. And if I'm being honest, there's almost nothing really wrong with this one. It's truly a classic, and one of the most enjoyable episodes of Season 2 in my opinion. And after saying all that, I now have an ordinary penny, and I'm going to try to get mine to roll like Plankton did. Nope. 